Greetings RC friends, welcome to Props and Wheels. We have the second flight of our MD Hobby E0717 from Banggood.com. The maiden flight went well, no crashes, uh, a little iffy landings, but it was a one piece, no damage. So this is the sa same day on the second flight, I installed a little Mobius cam on top and I also adjusted the uh, CGL more forward from the last flight so it's now really towards the nose a little more and I like it that way because it is very windy today and then wind direction has been changing from south to west back and forth and uh, from time to time there are really strong gusts coming and uh, I just wanted to have a little more control also I put in some rates on my transmitter so this uh, little two, two position switch, if it is farther away from me, it's 100% for aileron and elevator. And when I pull it towards me, it's 60%. So I'm going to test that out, see if it makes it less squirrely. Because during my maiden flight, it was going up and down, especially the, the roll was really fast. Okay, hopefully the camera is recording, both of them, and we'll get some nice footage. And this will also show if this is going to be a good FPV plane in case you are interested in doing FPV on airplanes let's see if it's going to give it a, a nice a stable platform all right I'm going to check so 100% 60% here and then same with elevator 100% 60% 100% okay working everything good all right I'm going to take off with 60% uh, and see if it's going to Make it a little less squirrely. All right, let's go. Yeah, this was a nicer takeoff compared to my last one. Fifty percent throttle. Still climbing a little bit, so I'm going to give a little bit down trim. Now it's coming down and let's turn it around and just uh, bring it close. Not too close to the ground. I'm still testing, but definitely less squirrely. Sorry about the sun. <laughs> and I'm going to switch to 100%. Let's see if it's going to become a little more difficult to control. Definitely quicker. I have to be more careful with my thumbs and let's do another pass by the way I'm doing coordinated turns with a lot of rudder input in order to for it to turn nice and smoothly oh the wind picked up quite a bit I don't know if you can see, still hear me all right I'm going to switch to 60 again because I was a little more comfortable with the 60 percent I can easily give uh, more inputs with the sticks and let's see if it's going to do a loop with the 60% no I'm not going to attempt because it wasn't even going up I'm at 60% still didn't change anything let's gain some speed towards the wind and do try to do a loop like full, full throttle yeah better and then 100%, so it's 100% now. Let's see how it does. Yeah, much quicker. All right, back to 60%. And I'm going to cut down the power and then try to stall it while it's up in the air. I want to see its stall characteristics. Okay. So now I'm flying towards the wind, upwind, zero power, and I'm pulling the elevator. Let's just keep pulling. It's all the way pulled, like the elevator is all the way pulled, and I'm just uh, still controlling with the ailerons, like right and left. All right, it didn't want to stall. Back on power. So I'm going to increase the throw to 100%. Let's try again. Okay, no power, pulling all the way. Still. It's not, it's not stalling. I mean, that, that's like it's mushing, but not stalling. Okay, back on power, back to 60% throw. 
Yep. The stall characteristic on no power stall is pretty good. Now I'm going to try to stall it at maybe 30% throttle with 100% throws. I'm just trying to test its limits. It has a, I just want to find out if it has any bad tendencies. Okay, so about 30% and then 100% throttle, 100%. So that was a stall. So I keep just pushing it and then it just mushes down. Yep, it does not. Okay, back on throttle, back to 60% throws. Yep, no bad tendencies. Those wide wings have a good command of the wind flowing over them and then they are not giving any tip stalls. Let's do a flyby. Oh, there is something flapping on the back. I think it is one of the sticker decals. By the way, uh, putting on the decals was a pain. I, that's the, my least favorite activity during a build, uh, putting on the decals. They seem to stick well, but apparently not. The wind separated one of them. I'm not going to bother it now. Let's bring it another uh, low and slow pass. Almost touched, but didn't quite. <laughs> Does it like uh, flying upside down? Okay, I'm going to put it to 100% throws, turn it around and see if it wants to fly upside down. About 50% throttle. Let's gain some speed. Turn it upside down. Yeah, it, it does, but not comfortably so. It is trying to ride itself up, so I've been giving inputs with the aileron. Not too bad, but it's definitely not an aerobatic airplane. I didn't expect it to be anyway, because this is more built like a trainer, little trainer. Ooh, very soon I think I'm going to lose that little flapping decal. Let's do a little bit of uh, right turns. I've been doing left turns only in this flight. So bring it here this way. Let's buzz the tower. <laughs> yeah, the wind has picked up quite a bit compared to earlier today. If it is steady, it's not a problem, it's just it's gusty. I hope there is some good footage from that Mobius camera on top and I hope it is not moving too much. On this approach, I'm going to attempt the landing it. Now that the wind uh, died down a little bit, maybe it's my opportunity to land it like a uh, one piece. Boom, 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 okay, okay, go the other way, uh, tail draggers, tail draggers. <laughs> now that the wind uh, died down a little bit, maybe it's my opportunity to land it like a uh, one piece. Boom, 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 okay, okay, go the other way, uh, tail draggers, tail draggers. <laughs> it jumps a little bit, but that's my fault. I didn't want to get the speed too low and not have any control against the wind. So I landed a little uh, fast, but today's little landing gear in the front is taking pretty good. Okay, folks, I'm liking it even more now. <laughs> Especially with the, after I put the dual rates, 100%, 60%, definitely help. I landed with the 60% towards me. So, 
I still cannot give the final verdict because I really want to fly this airplane when there is no wind or very little wind. I'm really curious. And by the way, putting on the decal back on over here. This was flapping like crazy. I think there's something underneath, so it's that the wind is getting underneath the, because of that little bump over here. Anyway, so <laughs> you have to wait for another video when the, the, we have no wind or very little wind for the final verdict. But again, my second flight, I like it even more. For what I paid, is it worth it? Absolutely. The building uh, of it was a little uh, you know, problematic, I should say, but nothing unsurmountable. So here it is. Thank you very much for watching. Another video coming on the AMD Hobby E0717 trainer. I don't know if it's trainer, but you know, trainer. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe and healthy. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.